All right. Thank you, Tom. Well, we are exactly 48 hours from the eclipse on Saturday. Now, while we won't have a total view, around 65% of the sun will be blocked out. And if you're planning on looking at the eclipse, you need proper protection. And while it may be too late to order solar viewing glasses, meteorologist Natalie Nunn joins us now with some tips on how to safely watch. Yes, I brought props too. Now we've yes. all heard how dangerous it is to actually look at an eclipse, but why is that? There's actually a condition called eclipse blindness. It's a fancy word for retinal burns, which you can get simply by looking at the sun. Now the sun behaves as it always does. Eclipse or no eclipse, same power. So it's a myth that the sun emits more dangerous UV rays during an eclipse. The dangerous part just comes when you spend time staring at the sun. So sunglasses, they don't offer enough protection. You need those filtered um, sun deals. I have those on the website. If you have not ordered them, it's probably a little too late. Here's an idea though. This is a fun way you can view the eclipse. This is a kitchen strainer or a colander. You can hold this out and the sun shadow will actually cast in the same shape as the current eclipse. So you can see the stages of the eclipse through the strainer. This is a picture from NASA and you can see kind of a beautiful, fun little deal you can do with the kids on Saturday. Unfortunately, like Tom said, it does look a little cloudy out there. You can also make a pin box projector. Um, this is something you can easily make at your home. I made one this one this morning. I will have the instructions on how to do that at our website. You can go to ozarksfirst.com. Angela, hopefully, hopefully we can squeeze out just a little bit of sun on Saturday, just a little. Fingers crossed. And I'm glad you showed me the box at first. I thought it was the crackers that you could use <laughs> as glasses, but do not do that. Well, you can have a little picnic while you view. You actually have to turn your back to the sun and hold it up like that. So it's an interesting way to make it work. So I like it. All right. Thank you, Natalie.